Welcome back to comics, to Hot Comics TV. All right, let's talk about Morotomo. This is the complete works. Uh, volume number two. If you go to um, maybe Amazon Japan or maybe eBay um, and look for these things, you'll see the um, see these beautiful collections and um, this is a very early Otomo. If you know about Otomo, you would know about his most accomplished work, which is Akira. And also by knowing that you would have seen the film. So these books had this quite interesting production. I got a plastic sort of cover sleeve that you cannot really take out. You would damage the book. But the only thing is that I was making the mistake is like standing them up and that created these to start to warp. So that was a no-no. I had to put them now sitting down on their back so they don't the plastic doesn't they get damaged. So these are all paraphernalia that came out with it there, there were like exhibitions and things and also announcements of other books but this is very early Otomo, this is like um, very the style that these men go to this stage, now it's becoming his own and the previous one it was very different very different cartooning the cartooning kind of was more reminiscent to uh, 70s um, anime, like, uh, I can't remember the name of the artist from uh, Star Blazers, but it had that flavor to it. Um, so, and this one, I'm looking at it, obviously he's using a lot of, still using reference to make these sort of worlds that he's you know, building, but his character design is becoming more his very much what he does and it's all ink and he, obviously he's doing do a shade and sepia tone to to do screen work and sort of break down the pages but it's amazing that also he's just using just pen and ink and it's this organic sort of drawing but it, it's got almost like commercial illustration sort of sort of flavor to it um, almost if it was like a magazine illustration from that period of time that, that's what I'm sort of getting the, the style because I've seen these in magazine uh, what do you call it on um, illustrations um, I'll have to bring those magazines one day but anyway um, he's it looks like he's using reference quite beautifully done Well, these are all series of short stories. I don't know what the premise of the stories are because I don't read Japanese. Ha ha ha. No, well, yeah, anyway. It's just a collection for the art. Maybe one day we'll get this translated into English. But it doesn't seem that Mr. Otomo is that interested in publishing things in English. Maybe the licensing is expensive. Must be because he's such a... Um, his artwork is always in demand. It's always the publications are in demand. The best known stuff would be Akira. So, all this ink work, yeah, he has to be using reference. He cannot come up with stuff like this just on a vacuum. Even the car. And I'm thinking there is a lot of like, um, Kind of, kind of culture sort of material that's happening on this because that's the type of sensibility the stories that I'm coming across with nothing fantastic nothing of fantasy or anything of that nature it's all just um, events on people of counterculture sort of activity I guess because look yakuza's and other uh, girls that are getting into the jamma things but all beautifully drawn and executed in a masterful way. He's conveying movement and action 
very in a clean way, this is very difficult to achieve because there's one thing to be able to draw and draw clean and ink well. Applying action, that's a different creature altogether. And if you like art and you, you will acknowledge that that's what he's, um, that's what he's doing very, very well. So the violence, everything's implied, beautifully done. The, the volume before these, if you saw that video and you saw the, the work, uh, I made a comment that I would have been impressed if nobody had told me that that was Otomo, if they gave me like a publication that had no cover, no name of Otomo or any of that, you will also be acknowledging that because now he's in his own, his own style. This you can recognize. This is Otomo 101. But more elaborate, it's got more work to it. Salvador Dali uh, commentary. <laughs> It doesn't look like the boys, like from Akira, but you can sort of still see that it's him now. And using more reference. Obviously, as you can sort of see, that's a photograph. Beautiful work. Let me pontificate again. Um, reference people, use reference. It will improve your game. Neil Adams said it all the time that Norman Rockwell and people like James E. Bama, um, Al Williamson, and Frank Frasetta, they, they, they posed and they used photographic reference to be able to achieve this sort of like dynamic cartooning it doesn't look static see he's achieving movement by hmm. by studying photos i mean you don't you don't trace i mean you turn it into your own it's beautiful stuff Yeah, more photograph reference. Beautiful work. It looks like he's applying humor on it, like he has done in the past with his other works. Because um, that does happen on, uh, on Akira, it does have humor. So it's, not these, it's not only these sort of like serious themes, it's just um, it's your everyday sort of slice of life, I guess. Be great to see this in English, but yeah. Excellent work. Hmm. Breaking it down would do a shame.
So you get a lot for these, um, for this, this second volume. There's a, there's a lot of pages on this. I mean, we're talking about over 200 pages now. And if you're an Atom, uh, Otomo, uh, Otomo fan, Atama, <laughs> Otomo fan, uh, if you're an Otomo fan, just, um, you know, it's good to have it in the collection. Look at this. This is great. Especially his early stuff. Who would have thought that these men that you see in these sort of short stories of, you know, culture, uh, alternative culture, you know, was going to become a, this epic science fiction creator. Especially for the themes that he talks in, in Akira. My goodness. Uh huh, Rashomon. Mm. Anyway, there it is, uh, volume two. I just want to share these with everybody, make a conversation piece, start a conversation about it, and also to share with people. Just so if you are aware, if you're like a student of art or want to make comics or something, I don't know. Um, this is uh, good to have as an inspiration piece as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And until next time, bye.